Hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another practice session of Sacred Heart Yoga, live stream from the sleepy town of Chesney, South Carolina. If you're new to Sacred Heart Yoga, there's like four things that, that you need to understand that's different about Sacred Heart Yoga. Uh, the first is the positions are what are not what's important. Uh, if you can't do the positions, don't worry about it. Do what's right for you, what's comfortable for you. It's not to, to distract you with pain from trying to get into a position that isn't comfortable. Um, so whatever works for you, you can do second heart yoga from a chair and get just as much out of it. I've done it before. Um, the second thing is, uh, is that we refer, oh, our prayers must be heartfelt. They must come from our hearts. Each session of Sac Sacred Heart Yoga is done live, and I don't doctor them uh, for a reason. I want you to realize I'm a human. This isn't about me. This is about you. This is about you saying your heartfelt prayers. Uh, if you, you, it's about your connection to God through your prayers. Not, it has nothing to do with me, has nothing to do with the video. Uh, it has totally to do with you and, and saying your heartfelt prayers. I begin the prayers and then I, I give you a chance to finish the prayers uh, with your own words and you say them out loud. Uh, and they must be heartfelt. And the next thing that's really important is that the third thing is that we use a number of terms for God, you know, but it's all one God. It's all the same God. Just it's different experiences that we each have um, during our lifetimes. And so some people look at God as God the Father. Other people look at God as God the Mother. And it doesn't matter. They're all the same God. They're just little different aspects of the same God. God the Mother is maybe the, as we see it as humans, and this is not God, this is us, uh, as, as the loving side, the nurturing, the creation of new life, the creation of new cells in our bodies every day. And then we look at God the Father maybe as the knowing, as the, the truth, as the wisdom, as the doing. But this is human. This is not God. God, there is only one. And no matter what we call him, he's still going to answer and we'll still have a, a nice, wonderful walk with God. Uh, the next thing we do is after I begin the prayers, you finish them with your heartfelt prayers, then we tone afterwards. Toning is saying the word OM, O-H-M, uh, at a frequency that will resonate in our brains. Whatever is right for you, it's different for each of us. So you try different frequencies all throughout. Um, we'll try it three times right now for you to try different frequencies if you're new. Oh. Thank you, God, for this wonderful method of prayer, this ancient method of praying aloud, voicing our, our innermost fears, thoughts, and love for you, of toning afterwards, and of body movements, which heal our bodies as the prayers heal our minds. And I thank the generations that have brought us this from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so anybody in the world can practice Sacred Heart Yoga anytime they want. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll do the Sacred Heart Yoga prayer. 
Beloved, I devote this practice this day. to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. In service to the one. And I allow myself to be purified as I rejoice in the kingdom of heaven and the love of God. And I give thanks for these blessings These moments I share with my body and my spirit in oneness. And so it is, Amen. Next, we're going to clear our energy fields. This means just clear our minds of clutter, of distractions, of fears, of guilt, of anything. Uh, the way we start the prayers, start off Sacred Heart Yoga, is we hold our right arm up to the 12 o'clock position, move it over to the 3 o'clock position, over to our right knee, our left knee, back to the 9 o'clock position, back up to the 12 o'clock position. If you'll repeat after me as you do this movement, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them to the light. Oh. Now, it's real common, especially for me leading this, to, to every now and then let a stray thought come in and get in the way. And it's a distraction. It takes me away from, from my, my prayers, my true walk with God. So uh, a teacher in Charlotte, North Carolina, Christina, Christine Lang, uh, taught me that the best way to get back to our prayers and our concentration is to let it go. And she said, picture it like a ribbon floating away, beautiful ribbon floating away on a gentle breeze, going away, getting distant. And so that works for me, whatever works for you. Uh, but, but that's just one of the tricks that if my mind strays, it gets me back on focus and clarity of the prayers. The next thing we're going to do is ask God, how may we serve this day? And we do this by taking our right hand over our hearts, over our solar plexus. And the answer always comes to me, never in any long dissertation. It's always just one or two words. And so repeat after me, or not repeat after me, our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Um. Now we're going to stand and announce what came to us, what one or two words came to us. And we do this by standing up straight and tall, feeling good, feeling the body stretch. Put our hands out forward, palms out forward. 
And here our prayers begin with, my intention to serve you is to Um. Now in Aramaic, uh, agreements were solidified at the end by saying the word Amen three times. So here we're going to solidify this agreement with God by singing Amen three times, any way that works right for you. Amen. 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 Now we sit back down on the mats and we actually lay down on our backs. And we'll begin the first series of movements. We lay on our backs in what's called resting position, arms at our sides, our legs outstretched, and we pull our right knee up to our chest and hold it there with our hands. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you for, and Father, I thank Thank you for. Now we hold our right foot with our left hand, pulling it over to our left thigh, and let our right knee fall down to the mat. Our right arm goes above our heads, stretch straight out above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Um. Now we switch hands. We take our right foot in our right hand, pulling it down to our pelvis. And our left arm goes above our head, stretched straight out and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Oh. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens holding it with our right hand, our left arm still stretched above our heads. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Um. Now our arms go straight out to the sides, palms up, and our leg, right leg, goes up to the heavens and falls out to the right side, opening our pelvis. 
And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Um. Now we turn our heads to the right and our leg, our right leg goes across our body over to the left side, stretching our backs, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat, our arms still extended, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Oh. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our feet outstretched, and we pull our left knee this time up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and hands. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you for, and Mother, I thank you for. Um. Now we take our left foot in our right hand, pulling it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat, and our left arm goes straight up above our heads. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Oh. Now we swap hands, we take our left foot in our left hand, pulling it down to our pelvis, and our right arm goes stretched out straight above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens, our right arm still above our head, stretched out straight and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Oh. And now we let our left leg go up in the air. Our arms fall straight out to the sides, extended out from our shoulders, palms up. And we let that left leg fall out 
and open up our pelvis out to the left side. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we turn our heads to the left, and that left foot now crosses our body going over to the right side, stretching our backs, and we hold our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched. And this time we pull both knees up to our chest and hold them there with our hands and arms. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you for, and God, I thank you for. Um. Now we hold our right foot in our right hand down near our pelvis, our left foot in our left hand down near our pelvis, soles of our feet together, knees out. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Oh. Now we pull our feet apart down near our pelvis and here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Now we point both feet up towards the heavens, holding them with our right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Um. Now we let our arms fall straight out to the sides, extended out from our shoulders, palms down, down to the mat. And we let our feet go down near our pelvis, down to the mat, knees pointed up in the air. And we turn our heads to the left, and our knees to the right, stretching our backs. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. 
God, I thank you. Um. Now we turn our heads to the right and our knees go to the left side, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Um. Now we're going back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched. And we're, this is called the surrender pose. Here we surrender anything to God as we see God. Anything that might be a distraction, any fears anything that might prevent our love, any guilt, we can surrender all of these to God. And the way we do this is we put our hands under our sit bones and lean forward on our elbows and try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched, and we take our left hand and point it up towards the heavens and let it fall over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder, and we take our right hand halfway between our left shoulder and left elbow and stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, I choose to. Oh. Now we switch arms, our right arm goes up to the heavens, our left arm, and we let it fall over to the left side of our bodies, and our left hand goes halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our shoulder farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, I can. Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched, and we pull our feet up to the mat next to our pelvis, soles of our feet together, letting our knees go out to the sides. This forms a triangle. It's a tabernacle. And then we form a second tabernacle triangle by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts and extending them two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in our tabernacle of our hearts, we find 
God's beautiful chalice filled with any gift that we could ever need, we could ever desire, ever want to be in service to God. And so here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice the gifts of Um. Now we keep our hands in prayer position and we move them down to the mat above our heads, stretching our elbows out and down to the mat at our sides. We're forming a tabernacle over our bodies. And here our prayers begin with God. I thank you for my body, my mind, my soul. Oh. Now we're going to do the anoint series. We'll keep our hands in prayer position as we do four movements in a row, and we repeat them three different times. In an anoint series, we anoint whatever gifts that uh, we expect from God or want from God or God's given us. And, and it, you can say the same gift over and over if nothing comes to you. Whatever comes to you, you can give multiple gifts. Whatever comes to you this day, it'll be different each day. And so we take our thumbs, hands in prayer position, up to our foreheads. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down over our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless your gifts of and I dedicate them in service to you. Um. Now we take our hands and always in prayer position during this series down over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with God, I truly thank you for your gifts of. Um. Now the fourth movement in each of these series is the, it's a movement, it's pointing our fingers down to our abdomens, extending our hands out to the three o'clock position and slowly moving them up to the 12 o'clock position. And as we do this movement, pointing our fingers down to our abdomens, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my soul with your gifts of
Um. Now we'll do the second out of three in the anointing series. Put our thumbs back to our foreheads, hands in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down over our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless these gifts of and I dedicate them only in service to you. Um, moving our hands down over our hearts in prayer position, our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for your gifts of Um. Now we do the movement of pointing our fingers towards our abdomens, extending our hands out to the three o'clock and then up to the 12 o'clock positions. And here our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my soul with your gifts of oh. Now we take our thumbs, our hands in prayer position, our thumbs back to our foreheads for the third and final anointing series. Here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless your gifts of and I dedicate them in service only to you. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for your gifts of Oh. 
Aum. Now we point our fingers down towards our abdomens and moving them out to our three o'clock and then 12 o'clock positions. Our prayers begin with God, I fill my body, my mind, my soul with your gifts of Um. Now we take our feet out, going back to resting position, stretch them out straight, take our arms back to our sides, and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle. And our right wrist crosses over our left wrist over our hearts. Hear our prayers, begin with, God, I thank you for your protection, your safety, and Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched, and we roll over on our sides and we push ourselves back up in the sitting position using our hands and our arms. And our right leg goes straight out in front of us. Our left foot crosses over our right knee and we turn our head and shoulders to the left and support ourselves with our left arm behind our backs and our right arm holds our left knee up to our chest. Here our prayers begin with desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. I desire Um. Now we're going to switch legs. Our left leg goes straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. And we're going to turn to the right with our head and shoulders this time, supporting ourselves with our right arm. And here we hold our, our right knee with our left arm, turning to the right. Our prayers begin with, will I am, will I am, will I am, I will. Um, now we get up on our knees in prayer position and we put our hands over our hearts in prayer position. Here our prayers begin with God, I thank you for
Now we're going to put our foreheads down on the mat, but we put our foreheads in a triangle formed by the tips of our thumbs together and the tips of our first fingers together. And this is another tabernacle. And so we put our heads down on the mat in this tabernacle and we simply feel the love of God, the mother, her nurturing her creation of new cells within our bodies all day, every day, of new life forms around us. And we feel God the Father's truth always there in every cell in our body, in our hearts. Now we go back to sitting position. This time our right leg gets stretched out to the right side. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, I am. Om. This time we're switching legs. Our left leg goes out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, I am. Om. Now we go back to sitting position. This time our palms are up on our knees and our thumbs touch our middle two fingers. We keep our back straight and we bow forward at our pelvis. Here our prayers begin with I bow to my body, my mind, my soul. We sit back up straight and tall, and we bend forward at our pelvis, once again bowing. And here our prayers begin with, God, I bow to you, to your divinity within. Om. 
Now we sit back up straight and tall and we feel where we're grounded down to the earth, our left side and right side of our pelvis is grounding us. And we feel on the left side of our pelvis this wonderful white light of the mother's love, her nurturing, her creation of new cells within our bodies all day, her creation of new life forms all over the earth every day. And we feel this white light entering our legs, filling our legs, coming up, filling our abdomens, our, our diaphragms, coming up and just filling our heart to overflowing with this wonderful white light of love. Filling our lungs, our necks, this white light comes up through our heads and her love fills our minds with peace. And this white light comes up out the tops of our heads, up into the heavens and showers down upon the earth around us. And now on the right side of our pelvis, we feel the wonderful blue light of the Father, the light of truth, of His truth, of knowing, of wisdom, of doing. This blue light fills our legs, every cell in our body, with the knowledge that they need to survive and to replicate. And we fill our, that blue light fills our abdomens fills our hearts to bursting with truth, with knowledge, fills our lungs with this blue light up through our throats, up through our heads, filling our minds only with God's truth. Then it goes out the tops of our heads and shines up into the heavens and showers back down on the whole earth around us. Now we step up into the light above our heads. Here we can stay as long as we want. But we ask just one question. And the question is, God, what do I need to know this day?